And welcome back. From fashion to fast food and sports, the private lives of brand ambassadors are increasingly intertwined with a company's public reputation. CCTV's Rochelle Akufo looks now at the fallout after advertising relationships turn sour. Luxury jewelry brand Tiffany's is forever tied to the iconic film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Audrey Hepburn's classic style was an advertising match made in heaven that's still paying off more than 50 years later. The same concept applies when an advertising partnership takes a negative turn. Thanks to the internet and social media, the backlash from a scandal can spread quickly and live online for years. In a recent interview with the Mail on Sunday, Patrick Kudirk, a London-based licensee for Hervé Leger, offended customers. He urged older women, quote, lesbians, fat people, and those with voluptuous figures not to wear the designer's signature bandage dress. Social media lit up with calls to boycott the brand. Kudirk was later fired. Hervé Leger and his parent company, BCBG Max Azria Group, denounced Kudirk's comments, saying they did not reflect the brand's fashion ideals or sentiments. But few industries are immune to the risk of branding backlash. Macy's cut ties with U.S. presidential hopeful Donald Trump for his controversial comments on Mexican immigrants. Comedian Bill Cosby fell from grace amid sexual assault allegations. And Donald Sterling was forced to resign as owner of the Los Angeles Clippers for his racist remarks. Global restaurant chain Subway hired pitchman Jared Fogel when he rose to fame after crediting the company's sandwiches for his 200-pound weight loss. His 15-year relationship with Subway ended abruptly this year. Fogel recently pled guilty to having sex with minors and possessing child pornography featuring children as young as six years old. This is about using wealth, status, and secrecy to illegally exploit children. Research from Adweek shows one in five Americans have a negative view of a brand after a celebrity scandal. Cases like these are a stark reminder that it's a gamble for companies to put their reputation in the hands of a famous spokesperson. Rochelle Acutho, CCTV in Washington.